Good morning everyone. As you can probably tell, we are out here in beautiful western Washington up in the Capitol Forest area. And today we're going to be taking this bad boy out to 500 yards with just the iron sights. So basically what we have here, this is the BCA uh, 20 inch M16A4 upper. They're kind of retro style upper with their included charging handle. Um, so we're going to be taking this guy out to 500 yards. We have a target set up down there about 500 yards. We have some crosswinds coming in at about like five to 10 miles an hour. They did pick up a little while ago. They were pretty much gone, but we are gonna have to deal with that just a little bit. But uh, I am not a very good shot with iron sights, so this will be very fun to kind of see how well this guy does. Now this gun in and it itself is very, very capable. Uh, not a lot of issues with it whatsoever. So I don't think that it's gonna be an issue to take it out that far. The biggest factor is gonna be this wind and of course me. Now the ammo that we're using for today is actually Hornady Frontier, their M193. So we are using some really fast hot 5.56 five, five, loads. And you can tell them what's really thick, but we're gonna go ahead, uh, load up the magazine, we're gonna verify zero at 50 yards, and then we're gonna go ahead, take it out to 500 and see if we can hit it. Now, the nice thing about these guys is that they do have the adjustable rear sights, so we will be using those for today. Uh, but for right now, we're gonna see how it does at the 50 yards. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Some M193 loaded up from Hornady. This is very accurate ammunition in all my experience with it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a three round group. Go ahead and zero this guy out real fast. There we go. So this guy should now be zeroed. Perfectly up at 50 yards, which is perfect. I think the 25 yard zero is the appropriate zero for it. Let's see where those two land in just a second. So it looks like I have three just high at 50 yards. Well, about mm, two and a half inches high at 50 yards for 25 yards. Zero is just fine. So without any further ado, we might as well go ahead and take you out to 500. Right, let's check the video camera, see how that did. Alrighty, so after checking the video camera, saw that we were just a tad high on the last one, so we are going to see if we can adjust for that. So I think we have finally adjusted to a dead hold. And we're gonna try and just set them in there nice and easy. Perfect hit. Dang, I cannot be consistent at this range at all. For a shot hit, I'll take that. Hit. See, I feel like I'm putting it in the exact same spot. Hit every time.
Oh, last round, last hit. All right, so we managed to get about 10 hits out of it at this range with the M193. Uh, I have a lot more of it, uh, but there's no use in me uh, fiddling with it. Uh, definitely not the most experienced iron sight shooter in the world. Uh, by that, I mean I have basically no experience with iron sights. Um, so, 500 yards, the gun is definitely capable of it. Uh, just looking at the actual footage on my main camera, um, it's hitting very consistently for where I'm aiming at. So it's me and the point of aim with my zero. Uh, the zero is definitely off. It's a little too high. So with the uh, with the even with the adjustable rear sight, um, I'm still having to dial it back from what it should be at this range. Uh, also, a nice thing about this is even though we're at a long range, uh, this M193 out of this 20-inch barrel is smoking fast, like 3,250 FPS, sometimes a little faster, sometimes a little slower, obviously. Uh, but just smoking out of this barrel. Uh, not necessarily the best ammo for these wind conditions, but really the wind was only pushing it over to the right a few inches, maybe six, seven inches at this range. Um, and right now the wind is pretty dead. So really the only issue that we're having here, it's not with the gun or the iron sights themselves, it's more with me and my inexperience with iron sights because most of the time um, I do not shoot with iron sights. So we might actually take a couple more shots here. Let's go ahead and throw five more down. And I'm just trying to be as consistent as I can be, uh, but you know if my cheek weld is not in the same spot every time, it's going to throw that off. Uh, my point of aim is right now I'm just pretty much a dead hold a little bit to the left, kind of like the lower left part of the target. So let's go ahead and see if we can do, if we can hit a couple more times. This, of course as soon as I decide to shoot again, the wind picks up a little bit, but let's see if we can still get some hits on target. First shot. Not a hit. Not a hit. Hit. There we go. hit oh okay so we were able to hit three out of five there so i'm getting more consistent with it it's definitely not the gun's fault the gun is accurate the bullets are fine getting out there it's very very fast very flat um the issue here is that first off my zero on the front side post which i did not adjust is much too high I need to adjust that down for a true 25 uh, yard zero or 50 yard zero uh, whatever i decide to end up doing with this guy because i am going to leave the iron sights on this guy as kind of a complete retro build um, but it functions. So 0 to 500, would I like to use this at 500? Uh, no. Uh, inside of 200, uh, very, very, very easy, very fast. You can still make shots longer range, but it's not necessarily the best thing to do it with. Alrighty, so there was out to 500 yards with this pretty cool uh, M16A4 retro clone lookalite thingamajig. Um, this guy here, complete, costs under 400 bucks. I think I got the lower for like 145, complete, and the upper is like 250 on BCA's website. However, Bear Creek Arsenal, of course, sent this upper out to me for free, uh, so I didn't spend anything for it. So for this build, 145 bucks for me, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, as you can see, the target is out there on that far ridge line. Uh, it's only a 10 inch steel plate, so it's a a pretty small target for 500 yards um, definitely if I was out here with a bigger gong or something like that definitely would have had a lot more hits on target that being said we were able to end the day with three out of five hits on target um, at 500 yards with iron sights using M1 and M193 as it was intended out of this 20 inch heavy barrel um, so overall very good performance very happy with it this is my first time beyond 50 yards 100 yards with iron sights um, so definitely a big learning curve for me, not necessarily for the rifle. Um, but yeah, iron sights is a whole different ball game than just, you know, having optics, which kind of feels like cheating now. But uh, out to 500 yards with this uh, Bear Creek Arsenal's 20 inch upper, uh, very, very cool. I liked it. Um, overall, it's a bit of a challenge at 500 yards, but enjoyable nonetheless. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace off. Hey, you. Yeah, you. What are you still doing here? The video's over. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you still here? Like, share, and subscribe. Or don't. The choice is yours. But if you do subscribe, thanks. And I like pizza. Peace out. <laughs>